Hey guys, my name is Max, and today on the Halo Chronicles, I'm going to be talking about why I'm really loving the Combat Evolved Anniversary playlist for Halo 5. So to start off with this video, I try to talk about the maps firstly, because I feel that a lot of the Halo 5 maps that released with the launch of the game never really had anything unique about them. Whilst yes, a lot of them did play very well and catered to a lot of height advantage and specific power positions, there was never anything that really distinguished between them. And honestly, a lot of them looked very similar, a lot of human built structures, nothing really alien, foreigner, covenant. I think the ratio of human to Covenant and Forerunner maps is shocking actually, I mean you only have really Tyrant, Truth and Regret and probably a couple others, I think Mercy as well and besides that, a lot of the maps especially in Arena are based around the UNSC and a lot of the maps that were brought out in the Combat Evolved Anniversary Edition have very different styles to them and they have a lot more unique aspects to them like Prisoner is such a high map with certain areas of power, a lot of weapons scattered across the map, very large open maps and the the map that you're seeing at the minute which is called Battle Creek originally being Beaver Creek this is one of my favorite maps in Halo history just because it is pretty symmetrical um, or almost apart from the ramp through the middle and it is such a beautiful map it plays so well and especially with the teleporters at either end makes it so much more unique whereas the Halo 5 maps a couple of them have sort of quirks and gimmicks but I don't think there's anything that really stands out like these maps do and because these maps are so big it gives that element of you can't sort of run around doing every, anything and everything because there's so much open space and with the such high time to kills it's going to be very difficult for you to control all of the map on your own because with a lot of the Halo 5 maps at the minute the sight lines are quite long especially on a map like Truth however a lot of them are really small compact maps and if you make a mistake from a long distance you can sort of get to safety but especially in a map like Prisoner you can't really do that especially with there being snipers all over the maps and the combat evolved pistol only taking three shots to kill if you run out into an open area you're going to lose the fight and I think these maps are designed so much better than a lot of the 343 maps and I'm not saying they're bad there's a lot of really really nice ones in there but I just feel that you're not punished as much for mistakes in Halo 5's maps as you are compared to the Combat Evolve maps as well as the teleporters going all around the map constantly keep you on guard and as a result of this I think a lot of players although they don't get the experience of having EG no sprint no Spartan abilities you get that feeling that a lot of players are going to be punish more for their mistakes than they were in other modes as well as the fact there are so many more p weapons of power on the maps in usual halo 5 maps they scatter a lot of sort of medium tier weapons like smgs all around the map and you sort of pick them up as you go things like brs and that and once you're starting with your just assault rifle and pistol but the combat evolved maps don't have that they're very very simple you just have your combat evolved pistol and assault rifle and anything above that is a power weapon typically i think you only really get sort of needlers that are in that in between sort of margin and I think that is so much better I mean I love playing the sort of Halo 5 Slayer but it is so much nicer to play when you've got four or five things of power around the map to try and control at any one time because in say a map like Fathom you just have active camo and the railgun or tyrant where you just have a sniper to control and on a map say like I think um, either Eden or the there's a smaller version of Eden as well where you just have to control whatever's on the balcony in the middle of the map and these kind of cause the same engagements every single time but with the combat evolved maps you have overshields, camos, snipers, rockets everywhere that you have to constantly keep tabs on and that constant running around means that sometimes lower level players if they're playing a more casual game can get to use these weapons more often and someone of a higher tier level they have to try and control more than one or two specific areas throughout the game and it keeps you more on your toes there's so much more to try and control at any one point because once you've got that weapon you can't just sit still with it you have to move around the map to sort of get to the other spots get to the camo get to the overshield and it's something you really can't do just on your own because in some versions of Halo 5 I know it's quite difficult at the higher levels but in sort of lower level gameplay especially one player can sort of control just camo I know I'm on overgrowth you just have the camo and railgun and there's plenty of times I've just been 
been able to control the camera for the entire game and it's been completely untouched whereas that would sort of get you a complete loss in the combat evolved version because you have someone with camo running around picking up all the power weapons as well and that encourages you to sort of think about where they're all located i learned much quicker where the weapons of power and the power-ups were on the combat evolve maps than i did when i started up on halo 5 because it was a lot more forgiving when i started halo 5 i could sort of i'd be okay if i didn't have the railgun but in this you've really got to learn how to control them i didn't really play much of combat evolved and i didn't really play the reach anniversary edition as i only started in halo 4 however going back to them i've learned so much just from playing on these maps and i've definitely found out why they're such fan favorites so moving on and next is going to be talking about the two simple game modes which this game type has now i've played quite a bit of this and i don't know if there is any more but i've only run into slayer and capture the flag so far so i'll just be talking about those two and i'm not sure if there's any other game modes in sort of the bundle that i've just missed but capture the flag works so well on all of the maps and the fact that every single map i believe apart from prisoner i think can support um capture the flag so when playing capture the flag i'm noticing so much more teamwork going on even with players that i'm not necessarily talking to and the games are so much closer and because most of the maps are symmetrical you do feel like you're on that constant run and it works especially well with beaver creek because the teleporters aren't completely overpowered because you can't just grab the flag go through the teleporter and put it in your base you have to go through the whole of the map and trying to get background to your teleporter is almost a longer journey than just going through the center of the map so it definitely opens up a lot of new avenues and having almost fully functioning ladders in the maps that's something really really clever that i think the forges have done to add these into the game as it almost feels like how it did in combat evolved when playing that having those grab lifts almost a feel like a real ladder that you'd have to go up and all these things added together make the maps feel so much more unique i say the only things those maps are really missing is and this is something that was probably before halo one's time is sort of interactive pieces but besides that i'd like to see a lot of these maps possibly even make their way into normal matchmaking so i feel a lot of the halo 5 maps are way too small especially something like tyrant which i think is just purely a 2v2 map i wouldn't like to personally play any more than two players on tyrant and i know i have a much more fun time regardless of if i'm winning or losing when i'm just playing with two players on tyrant especially a game type like swat if i'm ever playing swat and i get on tyrant i will often spawn someone will be looking at me from behind or i'm in an engagement way too quickly for what the map is designed for and this is just because the map is too small but because these combat evolved maps are so much more spread out they're not quite an 8v8 map but they're not quite those tight compact 4v4s and they still offer that same fast-paced halo experience despite being much bigger maps and that is due to the combat evolved pistol having such a fast kill time and because of this balance i think a lot of people are really enjoying it yes i know it's not quite the game type people were expecting when they thought classic playlist they thought it would be something to do with no sprint no spartan abilities but that honestly wouldn't work because a lot of the weapons sort of red reticle and pull the way the guns pull towards a player is much more lenient in halo 5 because of all the movement abilities so it makes it a slight bit easier to hit players compared to other halo games and that's because people are moving around at much faster speeds than ever before in halo whereas if you took away sprint if you took away thruster ground pound all that stuff whilst i'm against some of them if you took all of them away then it would make sniping way too easy the rocket launcher you would not be able to pretty much die with it at all and it would almost make pistol fights perfect kills almost every time because there's no real way of thrusting at the last second or anything and all of this stuff i think has made the playlist really really good it's not quite what people wanted but i think it's actually a really nice blend because i don't quite like halo 5 slayer as it is at the minute it works well for what it is but after playing this i feel like if they could tweak it a little bit to fit the, to fit the default magnum it could work really well as a game type that wouldn't necessarily be ranked but something that could almost stay in halo 5 permanently and the thing i I enjoy probably the most about this playlist is that it is a casual playlist i've wanted social slayer for so long because i'm not the greatest at halo 5 i'm sort of a low diamond player and i find sweating playing slayer can it just gets too stressful sometimes so i really do enjoy just being able to go onto a slayer variant and not have to worry about the win yes still try and win still try and have a great time but that isn't the main focus of the game and because it is a casual playlist it's just so much more fun so keeping that separation between casual and competitive halo and that's why i think the halo 5 playlists because they're growing now it's so much better if they could keep this as a permanent playlist i'd be so happy and especially if they added more because i know there aren't too many maps in the playlist at the minute if they added maybe two three four more maps 
then I think the playlist could work much better and be something that a lot of people would play for time to come because I think a lot of people expect the playlist to go at the minute because it's sort of just a playlist that's going to come then it's going to go sort of like Super Fiesta. I think if both of those playlists and more can make their way into Halo 5 permanently, I think a lot of players may be coming back. And now that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the video and the gameplay on screen. I've had so much fun playing this playlist recently. I'm playing Halo 5 in general, especially with the custom game nights, as I know a, l a lot of people have been enjoying them as much as I have. So thank you guys for watching. I've got a few more custom game night videos pre-recorded and ready to come out. So thanks, and I will see you in the next video.